Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. As you probably know, we've had a lot of rain lately on the east coast, so we've been a little bit quiet on the fishing front. Uh, the water's really brown, and also we want to send some best wishes and good vibes out to those that have been impacted by all of that rain that we've had, so it's been a, a little bit horrendous. When the water is brown like it is, for us as anglers, it makes the bite very tough. So. I thought today I'd just give you five quick tips for fishing dirty water after rain and also share with you some video footage of a recent session where we did sneak out. You'll see how brown the water is and I'll talk about how we switched on a bite in a session that was pretty slow. So firstly, five tips for you. I would be looking for clean water if you can find it. So very tricky in some systems that are really brown. What you can do is look towards the mouths of those systems. So a lot of seaways and things where the water will clear up quicker. And also a lot of the bait will hold there in the mouths of those seaways, not wanting to get pushed out into the ocean and the predators will come in and eat them. So look for that clean water and look for those mouths of the seaway. Run in tide is also good because it brings an influx of clean water in with it. So clean water would be first up. Uh, if you can't find clean water, then look for bait and look for water movement. So if I can't find, if it's just brown, I'm looking for areas where there's eddies and water movement that might give fish ambush points and also concentrate bait. And I'm also looking for bait because bait will draw the predatory fish in. In terms of lures, I go for dark colored lures generally. That water is dirty, so a darker color will give you a better silhouette. And I also go for lures that have got a lot of flash in them. So this guy here, Gold Rush, is a great example. Lots of flash, so that glitter will catch whatever light is getting in there, and that silhouette will also give us that, that dark silhouette profile. So that's a starting point with those. Also go for your paddle tails and your curl tails so, and things with lots of movement, lots of tail action. So the fish can see the lure, the fish can feel the lure. We wanna do whatever we can to help the fish find that lure easily. So scent would be another that I would say. So look for that clean water. Otherwise look for turbulent water, moving water and bait. Dark profiles, lots of tail action. Throw your scent on there. And then the other thing I'd say is mix it up. So you know, you might go out and do what you normally do and it's not gonna work. So you're gonna to have to change it up, change your colors, change your profiles, mix up your locations, try different retrieve speeds. Just really mix it up until you find out what's happening. So the video that I'm gonna share with you is just a donut saver from a session where we went out and it's very brown. I went out with a mate of mine, Andrew, and it was brown, brown, really slow. We fished a few flathead spots, no action at all. So we then changed it up and moved to another bank and it was a bank with a lot of current on it and a lot of bait on it. And so we started working that bank, still no fish, and then I did one change that switched the bite on, and that was the change of jig head. So basically we were fishing a quarter ounce 3.0 on a three inch minnows in that gitter done color. So I was looking at that color contrast between top and bottom and also the glitter that's in this lure as well. So fishing that gitter done on a quarter ounce, down the bank, no bites, no bites, no bites changed to a 3 8 ounce head and got three bites in 15 minutes. So you'll see that in the video. So basically that additional head weight made that tail pump work harder. It made the lure get down in the current quicker. It held deeper in the current and it was just more aggressive presentation. That heavier head really gets that tail pumping. So on the aggressive lift and also on the, on the drop, quicker drop with that tail, beating heavily the fish couldn't resist it and we got those three bites in quick time and then packed it up because we only had a couple of hours in the afternoon so there you go there's a few tips to get you hooked up in the dirty water just remember it can be tough fishing so you just got to go out there with the mindset of grinding it out trying things and working it out but it can also be very rewarding if you're out there when the fish switch on again and you, you've got it to yourself a lot of the time and you can get really really hot bites when those fish really start to feed again so get out there See if you can find them. All the best with the fishing.
No, I'm just. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, that got absolutely drilled. Come on, come up here. Oh, I'm gonna show you this. I'll just put it on the spot lock so we don't lose position. Yeah, he just wants me to wind it all the way in in the current. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no. I can't keep him pinned. Get it done. Look at that glitter. That glitter is awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah. Felt him eat that one. <laughs> As it sunk back down again. Wow, we've called it a bunch of times though. That edge. Well, maybe that's what rattled me before. That's a chunk of brim. <laughs> Eating a three inch minnow, he's got a flew the belly on it. There's definitely a lot of bait out there they're eating. That, that, that look at the gut on that. <laughs> he is chock full of jelly prawns and little hardy heads and things. He hit it hard. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Here we go, double hook up. So much bait. Oh, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. They just put on. He's dropped one, got one, and we've just hooked a really good fish. Just jag this dig right in the. <laughs> That's what I've done. Get it done. That's that get it done colour again. It's an awesome colour, like Aussie green and gold. Aussie green and gold, beautiful colour. Get it done. It's a fish, eh? It might be a Trev. No, it's a fish. It's a GT. <laughs> Might be a Queenie, is it? Queenie? No, Trev. Good fish, man. Trev. Oh, nice. Little Trev. Good estuary, Trev. Let's say good estuary, Trev. I've probably got a little bit of Hollywood drag going on. No. <laughs> I really like that get it done colour, though. It's a nice colour. Get it done in the net. Get her in the net. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. That's, oh, he just fell out. Just dropped the lure. That's probably what I had before, eh? Yeah. That's cool. Get it done. That's good fun, eh? That's probably what I had before, mate, eh? Yeah, I'd say so. Did a bit of a screaming run, the same as that. Hey, can't complain, but. No. Especially on a hard day. Yep, a little bit quiet. Good fun size, Trev. Always good fun on light gear, eh? Those guys, they're awesome. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful colour. Beautiful colour. Get it done. That nice glitter. He's away, he's a little bit tired. There's a fair bit of flow pumping through here, so I've got a 3 8 ounce jig head just to keep in contact with the bottom. And that 3 inch minnows in Gitter Dunn colour, that green and gold, beautiful fleck in that afternoon light, catching that light.
good thing about that three inch minnows paddle tail it's awesome bait fish size so you know little pillies hardy heads mullet whatever's in there bait fish wise it's a good representation and hopping it on this heavier head even when it is drift drifting back a bit with the flow the tail will still be paddling in the current so those trevs are just picking it up because it looks like a bait fish swimming or holding the current 